Or I could send a message to my old CO on the Adirondack. Get some combat tested vessels. We shouldn't do this alone. We're at the edge of the quadrant. Help isn't just gonna pop over like we're in Sector 001. Wouldn't hurt to try. You talk like you've never had your backs up against a wall before. This is Starfleet. We solve our own problems. Okay, stand back. Get this to the containment lab. We'll get it set up for you. I'll let you know when it's safely confined. Oh, we'll be there. Last thing you want is to study this down in main engineering and have it explode next to the warp core. Mm. Almost forgot. You can't have that. Gross. For a second, I thought she'd gone cold on you. Like she might have changed her mind. But I guess this whole situation has her spooked. Maybe she knows more than us. Or it's because this is all happening so fast. But she usually doesn't scare easy. Well, of course she's taking it seriously, but that's her job. When she's on duty, she's got to be on the lookout for danger. Yeah, but talking about sending a distress call on her own... That's going too far. She was probably just thinking out loud. I'm sure she'll come to her senses. This mission has enough complications stacking up. Now we'll get through it. Does this seem weird? You, it's Star me, Trek. And Miranda too. <laughs> Star Trek's a little weird sometimes. Commander Rydeck was able to work behind the scenes during the negotiations and made contact with a representative from the Hotari delegation named Tylus. She mentioned an unusual artifact of unknown origin being held under tight security within the Hotari Palace, which she believes came from the mines on Tau. Now, this artifact might have a connection to the revolt, to the storm, and to the warp disruption we now know has been targeted at the Resolute. Commander Rydick, if you want to take it from here. Not really. Of course. Tylus managed to infiltrate the heavily guarded location within the palace and sent us these scans using my tricorder. It appears to be some sort of control panel, possibly connected to the warp disruption weapon originating on Tau. Of particular interest is this symbol, which we couldn't identify the origin of. The Federation database has records from a vast number of civilizations. If anyone from Starfleet has come across this before, the system should recognize it. Cross-referencing with Federation records. Displaying symbols from Federation database with a 90% probability of match or higher. Select a symbol to further analyze. No. Uh, no. Ninety-nine point two percent match. Got it. Oh shit. So, what are we looking at? The design and composition indicate this is a glyph associated with the ancient Khan Empire. Their civilization collapsed over six hundred thousand years ago, but once spanned millions of systems with a population numbering in the trillions. Fascinating. The Takan were once the most advanced most powerful civilization in the galaxy. Is it possible the Hotari found Takan technology? I wonder if they even know what they have. Our knowledge of the Takan is limited. I have only encountered passing references to them. I can't speculate about how much they know, but one thing's for sure. They know how to use it. Indeed. 
Which might explain how they seized control of the mines. And targeted us with a weapon that prevents warp travel. Computer, what is the last recorded discovery of other Takan artifacts? On Stardate 41386.4, the USS Enterprise D, under the command of Captain Jean Luc Picard, discovered a Takan outpost in the Delphi Ardu system. According to the mission summary, an unbreakable energy draining field was deployed against the Enterprise and a Ferengi ship. The Enterprise was only able to escape after negotiating their release with an entity known as Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Unbreakable energy draining field? It starts to make sense. What else is there? There's a lot here. Let's take it piece by piece. Select the aspect you wish to learn more about. There appears to be some sort of restriction order from Starfleet. Computer, explain this restriction. A Starfleet directive similar to General Order 7 forbids entering the Delphi Ardu system or attempting to make contact with Portal 63. Hmm. Starfleet doesn't throw up a no trespassing sign for just anybody. I suppose it makes sense considering what happened to the Enterprise D. Must be where Akon came from. <laughs> Shut up. The technology to capture and hold the Federation flagship would have to be unbelievably powerful. Computer, what else can you tell us about the energy draining field the Takan used? The Enterprise D was unable to break free on its own. The precise nature of the technology was never fully understood. Only that the crystalline technology used was beyond the comprehension of then current Starfleet science. The engineering team found a quantized spin crystal formation in the shuttle you took to Hotari. They registered tetrametric radiation coming from it. We have Takan technology on board right now? We might. I'll run a full analysis in the containment lab. What sort of planet is Delphi Ardu 4? Delphi Ardu 4 is an M class planet, a barren rocky world with little to no vegetation and frequent ion storms. The giant crystals that grow there absorb energy, but it is not understood how they do so. The entire Delphi Ardu system, consisting of 11 planets, was considered completely uninhabited until the encounter with Portal 63. Frequent ion storms. That can't just be a coincidence. Someone from the Takan Empire is actually still around. Or at least was, 16 years ago. Computer, what other information do you have on Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire? The entity known as Portal 63 is of an unknown nature. A biped humanoid, he was unaware that the Takan Empire no longer existed at the time of the encounter. He was able to control the crystal based technology of the Takan outpost through apparent telepathic means. It was by his choice that the Enterprise was released from the energy draining field after Commander William T. Riker of the Away team argued on behalf of both Starfleet and the Ferengi. Telepathic control of their technology. As I have said, they were the most advanced civilization in the galaxy. The Elidians should have crushed the revolt. But if the Hotari have Takan technology and can control it, see why they're willing to negotiate peace. For all we know, this could be just the beginning. And we're up against something greater than we can imagine. Hmm. There's only one way to find out. We need to see what's down there for ourselves. I might be able to help with that. We've been able to triangulate the source of the ionic interference and warp disruption to a specific mine on Tau. Engineering used the latest data from your shuttle to pinpoint its origin. There. So we know where to look. <sighs> Commander Rydex right. We need to know what's down there, what the Hotari are hiding, to better understand what we're up against, and to neutralize it if we can. Captain, embarking on a mission to the Hotari moon would not be viewed favorably by either side. However, Given the circumstances, we are entirely within our rights to defend ourselves. I just want to make sure this doesn't blow up in our faces. Which is why I'm thinking of sending Commander Rydek on a covert mission to Tau. Assuming you're up to the task. It would require absolute secrecy. And obviously, it's not without risk. I'll get the away team in and out. 
They're in safe hands with me. Under normal circumstances, that would be the case. But given the sensitive nature of this incursion, I'm afraid you'll have to go it alone. I'm hoping Tylus can accompany you. The priority is to avoid detection. It's a calculated risk. The last thing we need is to get caught and then blamed for violating our neutrality and aggravating an already tense situation. We can't afford any mistakes, which is why I've chosen you. Tylus will be essential to my success. Not only her knowledge of the mines, but her ability to gain access, particularly now that we know which mine we need to get into. Make sure she understands the need to keep this covert. She's not going to want her people to know about this. Get in touch with Tylus and make the necessary arrangements as discreetly as possible. Bridge to Captain Solano. The Olydians have moved additional ships to the edge of the Hotari system. Current heading is straight for the homeworld. Understood. It would seem we no longer have the luxury of waiting. In that case, may I suggest you and I return to Hotari Prime? Doing so will provide Commander Rydak as much time as possible to complete her mission. Agreed. We'll hail the Queen's delegation from my ready room. We all know what we need to do. Dismissed. Petty Officers Diaz and Ed Salar, where is the crystal formation that you found in the shuttle? I have tasked Ensign Calloway with performing a full analysis of the tetrametric pulses. Security brought it to the containment lab. I was just there. They don't know anything about it. Security never checked it in. Miranda never got there? She's the one that had the crystal formation? Yeah. Her and the rest of the security detail from the negotiations. Diaz, Tamaris. Carter Diaz to Miranda Maris. Commander Westbrook to Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Respond. Something's not right. She's still on the ship. She has to be. Computer, locate Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Petty Officer Miranda Maris is in the isolinear storage array on deck five. I'll go find her. Good. I am sure Mr. Diaz can attend to this on his own. Lights? What is going on? Someone improperly pulled these isolinear chips. Oh, okay. been assimilated. Hello? Look 
spooky sounds. Hello? Hey! Miranda? What the hell are you doing, Carter? You almost knocked me to the lower level. What's wrong with you? What were you doing running from me? I didn't know it was you. There's no reason for you to be in here. Commander Westbrook said the crystal formation we found in the shuttle never made it to the containment lab. I don't know why he'd say that. I brought them there myself. Whatever he told you, he got it wrong. All I know is where I left them. Why didn't you answer when I tried you on the comm badge? Or when I called out to you in here? I guess I was caught up in my work. Now, if we're done here, I have to go. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of my shift. I saw the data terminal and the isolinear chips. Were you copying data? There's no one else in here. I wasn't. I was just... I was performing a security sweep of the area. And you didn't see the open terminal? I want a straight answer, Miranda. What are you doing here? Carter, if things are gonna work out between us, I'm gonna need you to trust me a little more than this. Because this is not a good start to a relationship. And I don't get why you're acting this way. It's hard to trust you when you aren't acting like yourself. I'm not gonna keep explaining myself to you. Especially if you're not gonna listen to my answers. It's Larda Diaz. What's the holdup? Don't answer that. You and I can work this out. Please. Let go of me. I'm going to respond. I can't let you do that. It's Larda Diaz. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Diaz to Etzelar. I need some help. So I see you found each other. You were taking so long, the commander sent us to see what the problem was. And you said you needed help while we were on the way. Diaz, you were sent here with specific orders, and fighting your crewmate wasn't one of them. What the hell is going on here? Let's just let them explain. I'd like to hear that, because I know what it looks like. There's something seriously wrong with her. She's not herself, I'm telling you. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Well, for one, she was copying data onto this. This drive is unauthorized. There are ISOs all over the floor. And that's why I was in here, investigating this situation. And when Carter came looking for me, we got our wires crossed. It wasn't anything more than that. Even if that was true, it still doesn't answer what happened to the crystal formation that she took. And she isn't helping. I can't tell you what I don't know. I brought them where they belonged, and that's where I left them. I don't know what's going on here, but I think we need to call it into security. She can explain herself in the brig. Hold on a minute. We don't need to put this on anyone's permanent record. Carter said you're not yourself. If something's wrong with you, we should head to sick bay, and the doc will fix you right up. Yeah, I... I haven't felt right since I came back from Hotari. I think I should see the doctor. You two know her? If you really think she's not well, we can take her to sickbay first. 
But what I know is this is a security breach, and we should treat it as such. Please, just let me go see the doctor. She did have a bumpy ride back on the shuttle. Come on, Carter. We should get her taken care of. You better be sure about this. Let's take her to sick bay. It's better than the brig, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Fine. Get checked out by medical. You two go with her. I'll put this back together. Well, that's fucked up. I think it's gonna be like, she mad, she big mad. Didn't like being sent to sick, but it was tough shit. Get out of here. <laughs> what the hell is with this lady? I'm assuming you mean the, the person you were talking about five minutes ago and not Cappy right now, right? That's me. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. Either or. That's fair. Oh, hey, everybody. Star Trek! Okay. Find Tylus. Trying to be covert, so... Why am I wearing my Starfleet uniform? Crazy ginger lady? I don't know what the hell's wrong with her. The only thing I could figure is either A, she was trying to contact someone else in Starfleet, like she had suggested earlier in the shuttle bay. Or B, she's being affected by the crystal and she's trying to like, she's... It said that they, that the Khan Empire could control their machinery telepathically. Maybe the crystal was controlling her telepathically? I don't know. Oh, don't come, Badge. Overt. Oh, it's right up here. This is Irma. Any trouble getting to the surface? I'm really starting to miss transporters. As long as this storm is around, you'd better learn to light shuttles. But if you can find the cause of the interference, we might be able to get back to transporting. As if I needed another incentive. We both know there's a lot more than that riding on this. Fair enough. You'll need to get in and out of the mine undetected, so I hope Minister Tylus can help in that regard. So do I. And to keep this covert, we'll refrain from contact unless absolutely necessary. Understood. Rydic out. The ionic interference is coming from underground. I should find a safer way down there. Also, it really tipped me off that something was seriously wrong with Miranda when she wouldn't let me respond to my comp badge with our, with our mutual friend, by the way. Uh, and then when I told her I was going to respond anyway, she attacked me. Like, bro, this ain't, nope, nope, this ain't good. Yep, 
what I thought. I saw your shuttle take off. Hopefully no one else did. It's good to see you. Even under these unfortunate circumstances. When you called to give us a scan, it sounded like they caught you. I was worried you'd been hurt. It was nothing I couldn't handle. Lead the way. I'll fill you in on what we've learned about the situation. Follow me. The device Galvin and Sidron brought back from the mines is being used to control some sort of warp disruption weapon that has the Resolute trapped in Hotari space. According to our readings, the power source for that device is on this moon, at the specific coordinates I sent you. That sounds impossible. But explains the rumors of the Hotari controlling the Ionic Storm. We strongly suspect the device was created by an ancient empire known as the Takan. The Takan? Once the most powerful civilization in the galaxy. But they've been gone for over 600,000 years. It's hard to believe there's something like that on Tau. Which is why I need proof. If we find hard evidence that Galvin and his allies are hiding dangerous Takan technology, I can convince the Federation to let us intervene. Understood. We're almost there. That's the mine? Prospect 614 North, Subdivision 20. It's enormous. Just one of the thousands across Tau. The pride of Hotari. How do we get inside? The structure that circles the mine has entry points for transporting equipment into the lower levels. They're guarded, but nothing I can't get past using my authority. Well, that's good to hear. As long as you can avoid being seen, I should be able to talk my way past any miner. And provide a little distraction for you in the process. How do I avoid being seen? You don't use the door. How dare you! Don't you know who I am? I... I am Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. That's not... The Queen would be furious to hear you try to deny me entry. The Queen? But I just... You just... Just what? Just now realize the trouble you've made for yourself? And who exactly do you think you're going to report this to? Because I'll be reporting it as well, to someone much further below. You have no authority here. Do you understand who pays your wage? I can inform the Queen directly of this insolence. There's no You'll need. regret everything you've said here today. You should have opened the doors the second I am here before. That's not the protocol. I didn't Each know. Each second you delay my entry will be recorded, processed, and permanently marked on your record. I can't believe this. Does your brain function? Do you speak our tongue? Or how should a fellow who took great not understand? Okay. Let's get a look inside you. system access. Let's see if I can just... Bingo.
Better hurry. Not sure how long she can keep him busy. Something in here is keeping that door closed. Got it. Should remove the security check on the door. Oh, keep going. I didn't come here to educate an imbecile on royal protocol. Of course not, Minister. So I will be about my business here, and you will take yourself out of my sight. There you are. You really let that guy have it. It worked, didn't it? I'm used to having to throw my weight around. Hard to get anyone to listen to you otherwise. I'm impressed. I didn't know you had it in you. There's a lot you don't know about me. Underestimate me at your peril. The catwalks were booby-trapped. Galvin and Sidron have gone to great lengths to keep out the uninvited. Well, we're inside. Where do you want to start? The ionic interference is coming from below us. We need to go deeper. That lift goes down, at least to the changeover station. But we can't use it without DNA authorization from one of the guards. I have an idea, but we need a few samples of DNA from the miners who work here. Samples? Fingerprints, sweat, blood. Which will trick the machine and get us control of the lift. That's the theory. Let's test it. Do you think we could just find a way to climb over this? Possibly. The console on the lift itself is locked by the same system that locks this ramp. No shortcuts, then. I'm sure you can figure something out. No luck. Unless this console thinks I'm a Hotari guard, it won't work. The guards work out of that building back there. Might have some DNA. What's in all these containers? These contain mining supplies. Tools, energy packs for machinery. Shouldn't mining supplies be inside the mines? It is troubling. If the workers here aren't mining... An Elydian console. All the managerial technology in the mines is Elydian. So they can keep an eye on their investment. That's how it is. Wow, that is a lot of DNA. I should look for the most concentrated spots. Not concentrated enough. I should try somewhere else. can use this.
That's a stable DNA sample. It's only partial, but a few more should do it. Not enough. Gotta keep looking. There's gotta be stable DNA here. Good. That's another I could use. Just need one more sample. This. Finding pick. This will work. Sweat. Gross. Perfect. That's enough to make the DNA profile. Time to go back to the lift. You're not coming inside? There are some things I'd rather not smell. Ah. Yeah, okay, that's fair. worked. Theory proven. I'll get it started. Ready? I'm a little afraid of what we might find down there. We'll be okay. I've survived worse than this. Well, I haven't. <laughs> but I'll put my faith in you. For now. Jara. No, stay back. There's a guard at the station. You'll have to hide. Stick your head out. What are Who you doing? Who are you? What are you doing here? You watch your tone with me. I'm Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. I speak for the Queen herself. This is a restricted area. No one gains access without the approval of Galvin or Sidron. Wait. Jewess Gawad Aboincha. <laughs> Are you all right? I... I don't know. Are you injured? No, I, I just... I thought if I could talk my way through like always, I'd be fine, but... I, I, I'm a diplomat. This isn't what I do. I've never even fired a weapon. This is just... It's real now. I wasn't ready for this. Tylus, you can do this. I don't see what you're basing that on. All you've shown me so far is an iron-willed determination to save your people. I don't expect that's changed. No. No, it hasn't. My authority has never been challenged like that. It meant nothing to him. So we should assume any Hatari we encounter from here on can't be reasoned with. Agreed. The only loyalty they have down here is to Galvin and Sidron. Can you switch over the lift? The guard should have a scan card that will allow us to operate the switch. Got it. He's not dead, is he? He's still one of my people, and I didn't come here to take Otari lives. My phaser's set to stun. He'll be perfectly fine, just unconscious for a while. I see. We don't have that sort of technology on our weapons. Good to know. Ew. <laughs> yeah. 
Yikers. We got those fuck around and find out kind of weapons. Yeah. The energy readings are emanating from this tunnel. It's sure to be guarded in there. Stay low and follow my lead. I'm trying to duck. Is but... that all dilithium? Not all of it. We excavate large chunks of rock that contain varying amounts of dilithium ore. It's sorted and processed at the collector ship above. It's a lot of dilithium, man. Guards. I take that as a sign we're getting close. I'll get a closer look. That door leads to rooms and passages for workers. It will connect to chambers like this one further down the main tunnel. We need that particular card, don't we? I'm afraid so. Looks like they've improvised a barrier. Yes, we must be getting closer. We don't have time to wait for them to finish whatever they're doing. We'll have to try to keep low and sneak past them. I'm starting to see the utility of a phaser. I wouldn't stand a chance against all three of them. I don't like our options here. I have to get us that card so we can open the door. How? If they detect you, Galvin and Sidron's followers are clearly willing to kill to protect whatever is in this mine. Hey, I'm trained for this. I'll be fine. What should I do? Avoid being seen. Stick to the edge of the room and meet me at the door. Let's be sneaky. Whoa. All right, stealth scenes. During stealth sequences, there are enemies that, if alerted, will hunt you and try to catch you. If you are caught, the mission fails. Oh, this is how you switch. Okay. Enemies can see you if they're looking in your direction. Stay crouched with control to avoid line of sight. You can sneak faster while you shift. If an enemy sees you, a triangle will appear. If it fills up all the way, you will have been caught. Get out of sight and lose their attention. Enemies will take predictable paths. Watch them and learn their patrol patterns. In certain locations, there will be interaction points that will distract the guards. Use these to draw their attention. This will open up paths where they were guarding. This guy just patrols back and forth. There's another dude back there, but I can't see his whole... There he is. And he has a really short patrol path. Where's the third dude? I don't have eyes on him yet. Solidian technology 
is such a hassle. Done here. We should the Ovidians will try something else. They saw our power, our resolve. They're terrified of us. Until the plan is complete, we're vulnerable. Then get back to work, and we'll complete the plan more quickly. Almost complete. Where is he? Hey. Soon we'll be in control. Bro, don't stand up. What are you doing? the card oh is that the thing over there i think that's the thing with the white light instead of these orange lights oh oh i lost him where'd he go oh there he is <laughs> fuck two talon Put my head Any inside this box real quick. Should be eliminated. You so much too, Talon. <sighs> Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go, <sighs> Duck Nerd. Oh, that door was really quiet. Stay close. Stop! What? Motion sensors. They'll trigger an alarm. We'll be found. Invisible to the naked eye. They could be anywhere. How will we get through? I like how they say invisible to the naked eye, you can totally see them. Does that say? Oh, it's done. Okay. 
Glasses. Ah, it's gone! There he is. An energetic beam used to detect motion. Avoid intersections. She's still go that way, damn. I should be more familiar with Mass Effect, my bad. Was there like a chest Escape high one that I didn't see, I guess? Or is it like, it doesn't matter, Stop. you- What? Motion sensors. They'll trigger an alarm. We'll be found. Invisible to the naked eye. They could be anywhere. How will we get through? Oh yeah, there's chest high ones. Look, I didn't even see that for some reason. It's fucking right there! This. It's where the uprising started. Hotari, don't do this. We defend ourselves, but we don't kill on this scale, this level of savagery. There's no such thing as a bloodless rebellion. I don't know if we should keep going. So much death. I don't want to end up like them. We'll make sure they didn't die for nothing. What we learned here could save the rest of your people. Okay. Okay. Whatever happened here, it made the Illidians abandon the mines. Let's find out what they're so scared of. These crystalline particles, they're not dilithium. Are they common in the mines? Not that I've ever seen. Is this the effects of an Illidian disruptor? Yes. Disruptors are cruel weapons. Yeah, ugh. Tigers, dude. Hotari. And Illidian. Both sides took a beating.
The Hotari fortified the side of the room opposite the door. It's a good tactic, but a few crates aren't going to stop fully armed Elidian soldiers. How did they win? Boot on them. From the blast marks, it looks like the Elidians had far greater firepower. Footprints. Elidian boots. Running back the way we came. Running away. Tylus. What? What kind of weapon did this? This is like nothing I've ever seen or heard of. M my people don't have a weapon that does this. What else can you tell me? Aldeans have four hearts, all of them are stopped. Ah! What an awful way to die. This must be why the Elidians are so afraid. Technology that surpasses their own, in the hands of the Hotari that they've lorded over for centuries. Where did this weapon come from? Well, the crystals are giving off tetrametric pulses. If I set my tricorder to search for that frequency, it'll lead us right to the source. Radiation is visible through your tricorder and will lead you to scannable objects. Four green lights on the left will fill to indicate the tricorder is facing a source of radiation. This makeshift barrier forced the Elidians to enter from the service corridor, creating a choke point. Quite the advanced tactic for a species that's never waged war. This Elidian tried to run. They didn't let him. The Elidians shot to kill. But if they killed him, why was he shot in the back? Huh, oh, you're right. The shot came from the side the Hatari were defending. We don't kill our own. And he wasn't just caught in the middle. Huh. Killed by the same crystallization as the Elidian. Whose side was the killer on? Maybe they're just power hungry. Or maybe they tried to get them to stop. Tylus, you may not want to look down there. I've come too far to... What is this? They've been dumping bodies down here. Unforgivable. Galvin and Sidron will be made to answer for this. More of these crystals. Another of my people dead. Mining laser? Think they parked this here on purpose? One way to find out. Need any help? I've got it.
This concentration of tetrametric radiation has never been recorded. Whatever they're hiding, it's right through here. It's the Mako. I wish the Mako had a gun like that on the front. This feels strange. The crystals are increasing, growing outward, replacing the soil. It's like an infection, a parasite, growing inside Tau. Incredible. This is definitely not Hotari. It's the remnants of the Takan Empire. I don't think we should be here. This is exactly where we should be. Every strange thing we've seen in this system, it might all come from this room. We need to learn everything we can. Somewhat resembles a transporter pad. made of the same crystalline material as the rest of this place. But I can't tell much else. Mm, might be some kind of sleep mode. I can't analyze this further unless it starts working normally. Maybe we can turn it on from somewhere else. Hopefully. Let's keep looking around. Look familiar? It's almost identical to the console Galvin has hidden in the palace. It looks like a control surface. this way. Can your device read this? It can roughly translate the words, but we don't have enough Taconian language on record to understand how it's structured. Oh well. Control surface, I know how to interface. Focus this energy to perform replication of matter. Quantum spin crystallization resembles a weapon in a form. May have been used on the victims. 
Oh crap, it's one of the guns. What is it? The device's primary function is to transmute lithium into this quantized crystalline compound. Possibly for the creation of weapons. Do you think one of these was used on that Elydian in the tunnels? Such a cruel weapon. Looks like some sort of replicator. Hmm. I can't get it to work. It has power. Must be looking for some other kind of authorization. the other side. Empty and full slots are differently constructed. Does this... Does the solid matter change form? Radically complex crystalline device. Purpose unknown. Detrometric radiation consistent with other devices. This suggests there's some type of complex life form contained within each crystal life form there's something alive in these tiny crystals that's what it says but hard to imagine how that's possible i don't think i would take a crystal but okay i'll do it our science division will have a field day with this we need to study it on the ship How are you holding up? I knew Galvin and Sidron were dangerous. Now I know they're more powerful than I could have imagined. But the worst of it is knowing they got there by turning our people against their own. I guess we just leave then? This place feels wrong. I'll get what I need and we can get out of here. Thank you. Is it too um, convenient that we found this place unguarded? There's an old earth saying about never looking a gift horse in the mouth. What's a horse? Never mind. <laughs> That's, that is a fair question. I guess I'm not done. Oh. Broken one. Crystallized lithium compound. Its internal structure is extremely ordered. In fact, the states of these crystals on a subatomic level suggests a storage device of some kind. Energy levels are both stable and ordered, like information. Some of them appear to be depleted. What kind of information would you deplete? Someone turned it on. 
There's no one here. But maybe the device I saw in the palace can send a signal? If that's the case, we may not be alone for long. Let's hurry. This can't be right. It's putting out almost 50 zettajoules of energy. I assume that's a lot? Enough to power this entire quadrant. This amount of power, the, the kind of radiation it's putting out, it's... It's the cause of the storm. The warp disrupting beam, all of it. What do we do now? We get back to the Resolute. They have to know about this. Come on, let's... Quickly. We have to hide. I demand you let me go! No need to complain. You're about to receive a gift beyond your wildest imagination. If anything, I consider it an honor. What is that? What are you doing? You'll see. Soon enough. Uh, uh, I can influence the course of the negotiations. I can make sure the Hotari get the better end of the bargain. So can I. Tyler felt proud after Jar Jara supported the way she handled the guard in the mines in Tau, but she was shaken by her encounter with another guard. So she was grateful for another encouragement and support. Boy, you like this game so far? Me too, dude. This is good. Ugh.